Hello YouTube, this is Moto561 here, and I'm going to be doing a review <coughs> on my Maxstone 10 RC Rock Crawler Bike Seed RC. <laughs> um, this rock crawler is a very good beginner crawler. It's got all the features you need. It might be kind of complicated for someone under 12. It says, the box says, um, for ages 14 plus only. And I'm 12, but it's really easy to operate. It's just the transmitter, which is the uh, remote control, I say. <laughs> it's kind of complicated. It's got a little stuff on it that some people might not understand. But, uh, ooh, I need to get that. Sorry about that. This is, by the way, the quality, and if you can't hear this, quality of the camera is kind of bad, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> uh, and if you also have to turn your volume up, uh... Uh, it's because the mic on this is right here, right below the camera, and it's really small. It doesn't get that big of a... I have to scream if you want if you want to hear it regular. <laughs> okay, the reason it's on newspaper is because it's on my bed, and there's dirt or mud, dried up mud on the tires, and I don't want dried up mud flakes on the bed when I sleep, because that's nasty. Okay, let's start off with the uh, body. <laughs> The body is just, it's a hammer, Hummer, hammer, truck, wrecker body. It's, like, it's basically a universal SUV, <laughs> except it's like a sedan, kind of. Uh, it's got these fenders or bumpers right there, whatever you want to call them. If you can see, they kind of stick out. They stick out more than usual. <laughs> uh, to put, I guess they're supposed to keep mud from getting on the tires <laughs> and then you got some decals that I stuck on there like this four wheel drive right there and uh... that exceed RC and this Maxstone 10 right there uh... colors green, gray, and black, and white and yeah um... okay, let's start off with the tires the tires <laughs> are the true beadlock wheels they held in by seven set screws and it's got an aluminum outer ring. It's hub. I don't think it has a hub. <laughs> it's got it's eight B blocks. It's got eight B blocks in the rim. You can't really see that. Uh and they're uh, really they they go in real easily. But they're supposed to be sticky, and if sticky means this, and then they're real sticky. But sticky means sticky as in they stick real good. Then, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be putting it on the bed. <laughs> oh, God, a lot dirt. Okay. Now, the chassis. <laughs> it's, uh, aluminum green. And it basically holds everything together. It uh, holds the uh, component that holds the battery, the ESC, and whatever this is. If you know what that is, please tell me what it is. Keep it close. It holds a LiPo battery, a three channel receiver, <laughs> uh, the first channel, I think, is throttle. It's either throttle or steering servo, and same thing with the second one. It's either throttle or steering servo, depending on what the first and second are. <laughs> Um, the wires, they're just kind of slapped on, which I don't like, I mean, they're just, look, they're just, that's how it came, it wasn't organized or anything. I did some adjustments right here, that's why all that's there. <laughs> but, uh, it's still a little sloppy, but I don't mind. It's got a, it's four link, it's got four link suspension, which means there's four green aluminum bars on all sides. <laughs> it's a four wheel drive. It's got four black springs. Uh, and I'm not sure if these are spacers or what, but, uh, it's got a little torque twist. When you go forward, it goes about here. <laughs> In reverse, it goes about there. Both of them, I mean, it's, it's a good truck. It's just got a little torque twist. It's got a single 540 motor, two universal joints, right there, <laughs> that, uh, they collapse and extend. Depending on the uh, angle, D 
the uh, rock crawler articulates. <laughs> yeah, that's good play. It's got uh, front and rear bumpers to protect the drivetrain, which is inside here. Inside, it's it's a sealed drivetrain, so nothing gets in there and um, saws the teeth off of the or saws the teeth so the weather's dull and they can't drip the gears in the drivetrain. Um, and you notice in the back there's a front servo with an E9001 servo, <laughs> a single servo. But you notice right here, there's this peg thing with a hole in it. There's one more over here, and there's just a hole right there. <laughs> and also one right there. I did not notice that. I did not notice that. Uh, it's, but yeah, that's the four wheel steering. I don't know if these springs are hard or soft, but I do know that I have some hard and soft springs in the box over there, the white box. <laughs> but, uh, that's basically all there is in the truck besides these things that stick out. They're the pegs that, uh, they got holes in them. And you put the, uh, truck, you put clips in there. <laughs> and that's basically all there is about the truck. Right here, you got the steering servo. It's, uh, the steering wheel's pretty strong, you know, when you move it to the left, it immediately goes back to the middle when you let go, same thing for the right. <laughs> the antenna, I like that you can flip it down and back, because things I've gotten from Walmart, they just stay up like that, and if it's, a uh, it's a floppy one, it'll just move around whenever you move the transmitter around, <laughs> and plus they're cheap metal, they can get stuck on someone's teeth, like happened to my little brother, um, the black stud at the top, which keeps the needle from poking someone, actually got stuck in his tongue, and we had to cut it out. You don't want that to happen. In the back, this control box. Oh yeah, the on switch is right here, right there. It's kind of hard to see, but if you listen, it makes a sound when you turn it on, and that lets you know that it's on. And then when you turn this on, and you turn the transmitter on, take a listen. It makes a sound. <laughs> Let you know both are on. Uh, the back, you can't really see that, but uh, I'll just tell you in full detail. You've got a steering DR, D steering D slash R, I don't know what that stands for, it might be drive, I just call it steering control. <laughs> um, and then it says 10 to 0 are the scales you can put it on. 10 is where the wheel completely turns as far as it can possibly go. Zero, it only turns at least like a like a cent like a millimeter. Same thing with the throttle DR U slash R. You put it on ten, it'll go as fast as it can go. You put it on five, it'll go half the speed it could possibly go. And I put it about four, three and a half, two and a half. I don't know. It's got because it's got little uh, white pegs, white dashes mark dash marks on the side of it, but they don't equal ten. So, that's that. I keep it on two or something. I just keep it behind five, but not on zero when I crawl because I don't want to go too fast. And when I'm away from the crawling and I want to get back to it real fast, I put it on ten. Right here, it's on ten. Up here, we've got your steering and throttle. You can put it the steering in reverse and the throttle in reverse. Steering in reverse, where is where instead of this being left, it'd be right. <laughs> instead of this being right, it'd be left. Same thing with the throttle, instead of this, um, you switch it, there's switches by the way. Instead of, uh, this being accelerate, this would be reverse or brake, and this would be accelerate. <laughs> Which, uh, I don't like putting those on reverse, because I'm not used to it. <laughs> um, so that's basically it. It's got a single 540 motor. The antenna... I forgot, is right here, but mine broke off, I think, because it was too tight. It came, comes with a plug, like a little plastic pipe you can put it through, and it goes through that hole right there. That little hole right here. Right there. Goes through that, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's the rock crawler. If you like it, I recommend you buy this. It's only one hundred twenty-four dollars. That's pretty. That's really cheap for a one-tenth scale. The one-sixteenth scale. Go ahead and show you on the box right here. <laughs> right here, the one-sixteenth scale was like eighty-four ninety-nine. 
the one I had, um, there was a sale right before Thanksgiving. And it was $109, but now that it sales off, $124. And this was before Thanksgiving, I started looking at the rock crawlers. And they never had, they only had one, one eight scale rock crawler, which is about <laughs> 200 bucks. But now they have more. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And, uh, it also comes with a video camera, like a little mini video camera. If you order it, you can put a check mark and you order it. Uh, and you can mount it on the, uh, hood of your truck or wherever you want to put it. And it'll look like you're driving. <laughs> Here I told you we have the harder springs. These ones are a little bit thicker than the soft springs I already took out of the bag. <laughs> Comes with an instruction manual for the receiver. The thing I hate though is it doesn't tell you how long to charge it. So I usually just charge it like from a ride range near the decals. I usually charge it for about an hour and a half or two hours. But then the user manual doesn't help. It just tells you what not to do. It doesn't say how long to charge it. Maybe I need to look through it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I need to look through this and it'll show this stuff. <laughs> but I hope you like the truck. Really good truck. The video camera is a little jacked up, but I mean, I got one, so at least it works. And uh, so this was Moto 561. And my channel Max Exceed. It's spelled differently, so it's not bootlegged or copyrighted or whatever. <laughs> and I hope you like the video. I'm gonna post a video of it crawling soon. So I hope you liked it. And thanks for watching.